Okay, awesome. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you for the welcome here in San Diego. Um, I really like it down here, but I do not understand your weather, um, which is why I'm wearing a hoodie. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a JS evangelist at PubNub, which is a startup in SF. I also run the SF JavaScript meetup, um, which is sort of like our version of this meetup, uh, except we don't have an awesome space like this. <laughs> we just hosted a PubNub. Uh, also, Forward, I don't know if any of you are familiar with this, a conference that we actually ran last week. This is me throwing t-shirts into the crowd um, at the conference. I've learned that I'm terrible at throwing t-shirts, uh, but luckily I'm okay at JavaScript, and I really like the open web. Um, so that's my story. I work at this company, PubNub. We're a data stream network, so we're sort of like a hosted socket I.O. implementation. Um, super developer-focused product. We just raised our Series C pretty recently, um, so we're going to have to move out of this office, which is too bad because we just installed these awesome letters in there. Um, and so the problem that I'm trying to solve and that our company is trying to solve is that the web is great for web pages, but it's not great for real time, right? And so there's some technologies that will sort of uh, cover over that, right? WebRTC, WebSockets, a lot of people are excited about HTTP2, but it's still sort of this intractable problem. Uh, and so the way that we're addressing this is actually pretty sweet. We're building a lot of useful, scalable, open source tools that everybody can use for free, and then releasing them out there on GitHub. And then, I'm not sure how that turns into money, but I'm gonna let the business people worry about that. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you about one of those awesome tools today, and that's called Project Eon. Um, Caveat, I have never tried to run this on an 800 pixel wide projector. Um, it looks really good, like just on a regular computer. Um, and so it's a way to build uh, charts, maps, and graph dashboards using real time data. So let's see, uh, let's see how this works here. Do, do, do. Oh, it's so good, look at it, wow. Probably, it's probably defaulting to the mobile view. Um, basically, it's a way to mash up data streams plus C3 charts and Mapbox um, so that you can actually visualize all this stuff in real time. Um, here are some of the platforms that you can publish data out to the network from. We have over 70 different platforms that you can use. Fully supported SDK is all open source. Uh, if you want to embed it into your page, you basically just pull this code in. Uh, and then, bam, you get real-time charts. Um, so this is actually real-time data. This is dummy data, obviously. Um, but it's pretty easy to embed. You have a lot of different parameters that you can use. Publish data from anywhere. Let's see if I can pull up some uh, different types of charts. So like bar charts as an example. Um, there's all these different pages where you can sort of grab this data. Here's the code that you use to embed it. Uh, on the device that you're actually going to be publishing data from, here's the format that you'll use. I'm going to see if I can run Vim on this. Oh my god, it's kind of working. Um, so here's a demo that I wrote very briefly. We're basically taking all the tweets that are coming over Twitter. Twitter is one of our clients. Uh, and we're going to be visualizing them and sort of chunking them up in a bunch of different ways. And the way that I chose was actually by the current language of the tweets. So this is all real-time data uh, coming out of the Twitter firehose that we're quickly analyzing and putting up on a graph. Uh, and so you can see the blue line is tweets that are tagged English, uh, orange is Spanish, and green is other tweets. And that's all real-time data. We actually just surpassed, uh, our company just surpassed the size of Twitter in terms of like messages being sent. Um, but that's kind of, I mean, they're one of our customers, so I guess that's not a <laughs> totally useful metric. Um, so uh, finishing up here briefly, um, here's all the different devices that we support. Um, I'll just skip all this stuff. Like, one of the things that we really help with is scale, right? So WebSockets, WebRTC, awesome, device to device. But this is something that you can use with hundreds of millions of different devices. And also lots of dev tools. So you'll be able to actually see the messages as they're coming across the pipe through our HTML5 developer console. Um, I ask for you, build something cool. If you need a data source, tell me about it. I'll try to get that out to you. Uh, if you need data, I can help provide that. It's free up to 100 users. Thank you very much. Is, is that doing polling for the data? Is that how that's being defined? It varies. Uh, a lot of it is polling.